Hi, I'm Hog. This is the dice. Lo fela porig honedit. For those of you who don't speak Irish, happy St. Patrick's Day. Now, I'm sure everyone knows about the story of St. Patrick. He is the patron saint of Ireland. He chased the snakes out of Ireland, and that's a whole metaphor for him getting rid of all of the pagans. But maybe it's not. You see, Back in those days, there was a lot of stories about saints banishing snakes from European countries. The reason it stuck with St. Patrick, I think, is because all of those countries have snakes, but Ireland doesn't. So it seems like St. Patrick is the only one who actually managed to do it and make it stick. However, there is a slight problem with that idea. Or, well, there is a slight problem with the idea of him having done anything with snakes. And that is the fact that it, in the translations, the word they're using to mean snake, or they're saying mean snake, is paged, which means eel. As far as I know, Irish didn't have a word for snake back then because there weren't any snakes in Ireland back then. Now, the thing about it meaning, uh, the thing about paged meaning eel, is that saints also had a duty to kill any monsters that may have been in the area at the time. And Ireland is full of stories about eels as monsters. Nearly every lake in Ireland has a monster connected to it, and nearly every one of those monsters is some kind of giant eel. There is a story specifically about St. Patrick in which he kills a giant eel in Loch Derg. Now Loch Derg, probably, not definitely, comes from Loch Diarig. Diarig meaning red, so red lake. The story goes that while crossing the lake on a boat, St. Patrick was attacked by this monstrous eel with a head like a horse's. St. Patrick struck it across the head with, a cro with his crozier, killing the beast, and that its blood dyed the lake red. Now, of course, stories get connected to nearly every famous historical or mythological figure there is. The same story about the same place is also told about Fionn Macool, Brian Boru, and I've even heard it once told about Daniel O'Connell, of all people. But, that is still a story about St. Patrick killing a giant eel. The ev like I said earlier, the stories about eels as monsters were so prevalent that one of the Irish words for monster, Ulfeisht, literally means giant eel. So, just think about that when you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day today. You may not be celebrating a man who stamped out paganism. You may be celebrating a man who beat giant eels to death with a stick.